Hello everybody. Ah, welcome to my world of motor cycling. Look at me go. I want to do a video today. Ooh. Excuse me. I want to do a video of oh, fuck. This is beyond a joke. Yeah, I want to do a video today for two reasons. Number one, to update myself on my fat levels. And number two, is ooh, it's a bit windy. You see a lot of videos about you know how to ride a motorcycle for the first time. This is the brake, this is the clutch, this is the accelerator, this is what you do. But I've never seen one just giving some general tips for people who are new to riding. Because a lot of people will look up these videos, not mine, because mine are a bit rubbish, but videos in general, just to, because they're thinking about buying a bike. Which is exactly what I did. I looked up more deaths and I think I came across um, Shock of God. And between Bible readings, he did make me want to get a motorbike. Which is one of the reasons why I got it in the first place. So what I want to do is just give a few tips to anyone who's looking at these videos who's gonna get a bike but you know just needs a bit of helpful advice well, number, tip number one if you're gonna put a camera in your helmet see if you can find some way of actually attaching it to the helmet rather than having to hold it in with your nose because yeah anyway so some basic tips for the new rider now when you get your motorbike Here's a statistic that you may or may not be aware of. The majority of motorcycle crashes, including for fatal ones, occur when there isn't another vehicle involved. So that is when people are going around corners too fast and go off the edge. So, tip number one for anyone considering or has just bought a motorbike is practice. There is more to riding a motorbike than just riding fast and trying to lean around corners. Ask anyone who rides a motorbike often and they will say the same thing, practice. That means practice riding fast if you want to ride fast, but also go to a car park and practice riding slowly because you are far more likely to drop your bike when you're riding slowly. And not, is, not only is dropping your bike expensive, but it's also embarrassing when you do it in a traffic jam or a traffic light just like this one if I drop my bike now all these guys would laugh so yeah tip number one practice tip number two you need to come up when you're going out on your bike you need to come up with what I like to call a minimum gear level which is basically you decide because I know in America the rules aren't absolute I'm just going to change green at any point or am I just going to wait here forever Yeah, you need to decide the minimum amount of gear you're going to be wearing. For me personally, that is full face helmet, gloves, boots, jacket, and jeans. Hmm. Does it always take this long? Does it always take this long? I suppose I could just go, couldn't I? There's nothing on the other side. Yeah. Ah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, minimum gear. And if you look at crash helmets after they've been involved in a crash, you will notice, this is why I prefer full face to open face, you will notice that most of the scrape marks are on the front or on the sides. If you have an open face helmet, that is going to scrape off your face. And, uh... Okay. Yeah, so... I would recommend a full face helmet, but it's up to you, it's all personal choice. You're the one getting on the bike, so preaching to you will make no difference. So you have to decide how much gear you're going to wear at minimum. 
That is... Oh, there you go, actually. That's the only two tips I can think of. Practice. And don't be ashamed of practicing. Go to a car park and just ride around in circles. Because bikes, when you ride them for the first time, you'll notice they are very delicate. You know, just small movements here and small movements there. And they can either shoot off, stall, or fall over. So it's all down to practice. Because if you look up videos on uh, people riding the dragon, I think it's called, in America, you see a lot of people who just go flying off the road after they've lent too much, and what ends up is the wheels of the bike come off the floor and it's scraping along on the side. And that's because they don't practice. They think they know. So yeah, my two top tips. Practice and practice a shitload. Oh, third tip. Whatever the weather, go out and ride in it. If you're worried about riding in the rain, go and ride in the rain. If you're worried about wind, go and ride in the wind. Because you never know when it's going to rain or be windy. So being stranded because it's raining or windy would be ridiculous. So yeah, go out and ride in the rain, go out and ride in the wind. Experience as much as you can, and that is practice. So yeah, basically practice and gears. And gear. I don't know what other tips it can possibly be. I'm going to get some petrol. Now for my quick weight update. After week one, I'm not sore anymore, and I'm five pounds down. Woo! Five pounds! So yeah. I will try to find... Oop. I will try to find some useful, what I think are useful uh, videos for new riders. And I'll put them down there in my crutch. Yeah, I'll put some links down there and see if if you end up looking at this video because you're thinking of buying a bike and it's going to be called tips for new riders so hopefully I'll put a load of links at the bottom that will be useful for you so yeah have a great day